If you look at bullying and you look at how a child gets bullied, one of the saddest things about bullying is they listen to the words physically of other people which are negative about themselves and they start to believe them because they hear them so frequently. Now, if they are really suffering with confidence, you can do even more. You can start giving them affirmations. I am brave, I am strong, I am confident. They can say these things as they're doing press-ups or on their own, in front of a mirror, whatever it is. If you look at bullying and you look at how a child gets bullied, one of the saddest things about bullying is they listen to the words, physically, of other people which are negative about themselves and they start to believe them because they hear them so frequently, because of that repetition. So let's take control back, retrain the inner mind for a positive inner voice with affirmations. They work amazingly. I tested them on my daughter when she, when she learned the word brave. She's two years old, right? I taught her what brave meant. I thought it was pretty cool to teach a two-year-old what brave meant. And I used to, whenever she used to bump into things, and they get progressively more clumsy, don't they? So they start off, you know, they can't do much. And then they, it seems like they get worse. They start to bump into more things, break things, fall over, you know, get more owies. And the, um, what, what I've noticed is that because I've been teaching her every time she got hurt to say, to get up and say, I am brave, you know, and it was in a really friendly, non-pushy way, obviously. But she stands up now. The other day, she, she, she fell over, stood up. I said, are you OK? She goes, I am brave. And then she cracked on. She didn't need me to pick her up, right? I just thought it was so sweet, so clever that she was able to understand what that was and do that. But it's a, it doesn't matter what age they are. They can learn affirmations from any age, right? Just try and find things or areas where you think they need a bit of a boost and tailor the words around that. Use, use those, those um, moments where they can attach an emotion to the word. So for instance, she knows falling over is attached to the word brave because that, that elicits a certain response from her. Does that make sense? Even if she doesn't fully understand what the word brave means, she understands that I fall over, I stand up and I say this, and I have a different posture, a different voice and a different tone, and I act differently, which makes me feel differently. Does that make sense? Very powerful stuff. You start tapping into that and you can really start developing a child's confidence.